the neurodynamic test for the radial nerve, um, to make that at its full length, what we have to remember is that the radial nerve comes down the tricep and then it wraps round and it goes down into the thumb and the back of the hand. So this time, rather than that hand extension, we're going to need a wrist flexion. And instead of being external rotation, as with the median and ulnar nerve, we're going to have an internal rotation. So our starting position this time is the same as the second median nerve test, i.e. the patient is diagonally across the couch, the head straight on with the body, the shoulder slightly over the edge of the couch, because what we're going to do is we're going to use our leg, our nearer leg, to stop that shoulder coming up. We then use the outer hand to support the, the, the elbow, and the inner hand to take hold of the, the thumbs and fingers. So there's the hand position here, where we're going to just wrap, envelope our hand around their hand, so that we can flex the fingers, and eventually we're going to flex the elbow as well, so it's there. So at the first point, depress the shoulder, we then extend the elbow, we internally report, rotate the shoulder, and then we flex the wrist and the fingers. And if that hasn't elicited anything, we can abduct up to about 30 degrees. And when you do that, you can actually feel under the legs that tension coming in. So there's our full stretch. And to add to that, we take the head sideways. Sorry, that's the full stretch there. That's our full stretch. And now, for the differential diagnosis, i.e. is it, mus uh, is it uh, a muscle or is it a nerve? If Michael now brings her head back, that's taking some of the stretch off. And is that got less? Is it gone away? If that's the case, then it's nerve, not muscle. So we've decided, yes, it is nerve, the pain's gone away. So we now we want to slide it. So to slide it, I was starting full stretch. So we start with full stretch. There's a full stretch. Right, now as Maggie brings that shorter, there's our, there's our actual starting position, and we take some pressure off the, elbow, the wrist. Are we right? There's pressure on the wrist. No, sorry, we're wrong. So start from there again. So there's the full pressure on the wrist. As Maggie extend, it takes her head away, I take pressure off the wrist as she brings it in. I put pressure on the wrist, and that's keeping the nerve the same length, that sliding nerve. So head away, wrist up, head back, wrist down, head away, wrist up, head back, wrist down, and that's the radial nerve.